Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome and welcome back. Welcome to the Dragonflight 10.2.7 PTR and uh, Mr. Pandaria Remix Time Running Pandemonium, whatever you want to call it today. That is what we were checking out this afternoon. Colonel Boomer, Lael, Marlena, John, Robbie, welcome guys. Thank you all for being here. When a new season starts, what happens? An angel gets its wings. Obviously. Uh, it's a reset to like mythic rating and stuff. Generally like a new a new pool of mythic dungeons, changes to like the raids. A bunch of stuff. I'm sure Wildhead has a good article. Tewin, welcome buddy. Okay, so experience a new twist to Mist of Pandaria by creating a time runner. All Pandarian quest scenarios, dungeons, and raids are available to play. Completely new itemization and unique spells give players access to a new gameplay experience. And unique rewards by completing events, achievements, uh, you'll unlock new mounts, battle pets, transmog, and more for your account. All right, uh, yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and let's create our time runner. So I, I don't really know. I know that when this goes live, I want to be a hunter. So the only thing off the table is hunter. I'll probably play something that I would not normally play. I would not normally want to play a priest. So maybe maybe I'll play a priest to check this out. What kind of priest? That's important. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh dear God. Or, or maybe we do a rogue. Do we want to do a priest or a rogue? Maybe we do a rogue. I think for this kind of thing, a rogue might be more enjoyable. I, I, I assume it's going to be kind of like fast paced. And so, yeah, maybe a rogue would be best. All right, we're starting in some uh, different looking gear. I, I don't think this is like the base rogue starting gear. We have some interesting daggers and some different looking gear. So that's cool, we're level 10 right away. Now I wonder if you can recustomize your character at any time when it's live. Oh yeah, we it went right back in. Huh. I wonder if that's always gonna be an option. All right, let's, let's get to it, shall we? I've gotta go Goblin or Volpera. I, I can't, I can't go Volpera. I'm not going to play a goblin unless we're playing Cataclysm. I'm not a fan. The camera perspective is too low for the uh, shorter races. The camera, and then you get covered by ground clutter. The, the ground clutter is always like 10 feet taller than you. How is this going to start? It's just going to, it's going to put us right in. Uh, we are on the timeless aisle. We and a million other people. 25 frames per second. Oh, that's really fun. Okay. Uh, we've got Aeternus here. He seems to have an important quest for us. Change is good. It's about time. We'll meet again. Your timing is serendipitous. Serendipitous. Nice, nice. I require your assistance. Not all infinites have seen what Norsdomu has shown me. Not all would agree, even if they had. Archelos is one such detractor. He must be eliminated. Slay Archelos the Artificer. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Let's say yes for now. Um, let's see. Oh, oh, we of course we have talents, right? For some reason I wasn't thinking about talents. Uh, blind, I don't really care about. But maybe we have to take it anyway. 
and Cloak of Shadows. I, I don't care about either of these things. Uh, I'm just going to take Blind because I feel like we probably have to get into... We probably have to take everything, so... Maybe I should have played a class that I'm like semi-familiar with. Maybe that would have been a, uh, a smarter... A smarter choice to just kind of focus on the actual content. Oh, this is the guy. This is our dude. He, he's dead. He's dead. We didn't get to hit him. <clears throat> we gotta wait till he respawns. I don't have a target. Yeah, you know... You know, really, like for this, I, I, I think I'm gonna go on a, on, a, on a warrior. I think I need to go on a class that I'm kind of familiar with, guys. Sorry. False start. Sorry. Very sorry. I think like I don't I don't know the rogue. I don't I don't want to have to focus on learning the class uh, while I check this. I want to focus entirely on like the gameplay and, and what this feels like. So yeah, let's let's either either warrior or paladin. Um, maybe I would just go paladin. Let's go warrior. So that'll give me a little bit more experience on the warrior. Uh, let's. Let's let's go with an orc. That seems good. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is this is going to be better. Like I just started my warrior, so I like I I know some of the buttons. I understand warrior a little bit better than rogue, so I I, I think this will be better. Oh, uh, wait, no, nope, no, nope. okay, yeah, this will be fine. <laughs> this is fine. Auto attack, I don't, I don't need that, I don't think. I'm gonna tentatively move that. Let's do this. We're not gonna, uh, do we have a shield? No, we have a, we have a two-hander. So we're not gonna need the shield stuff. We're probably not gonna need taunts. Uh, this is a 60-minute buff that can stay up top. This can come down. Pummel can go here. And, uh, and yeah. I, I think that's, I think that's good. Uh, whirlwind, we'll be whirlwinding, maybe semi-frequently. Let's do something like this. Yeah, okay. And then for talents, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's just do War Machine right off the gate. We, we, we didn't make it. <laughs> Even with the charge, we didn't quite get there in time. And there's a lot of people here checking this out. I, I don't know if this is normal for like a PTR. I've never really played on the PTR. Uh, okay, let's get in there. We got a hit. We got one hit in. That's really all we need. Alright, we need to loot his artifacts. We need to have auto loot turned on. That would be amazing. I could mount up. I could I guess I could mount up. Time is set in sand, not stone. Remember. Uh, take this spool to uh, Moratari. Perhaps she can make sense of this relic. We Which get we get ten bronze for this. You have arrived. What do you have there? This artifact is absolutely radiating with temporal power. Aha! Even more brilliant than I thought. Assimilating the latent temporal signatures of unraveled causalities. Sorry, I am getting ahead of myself. Allow me to explain. Please don't explain. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the other infinites are not as judicious in their treatment of the timeline. They have rather torn through time in their reckless opposition to our efforts. Though we cannot simply mend the timeways, we may yet repurpose its loose threads. Reclaim the threads of time from our enemies and we shall weave you a cloak worthy of the infinite dragonflight. So we are working like directly with the infinite dragonflight. Pleasant spending time. But they're like the good guys. 
Not my problem. These temporal anomalies are getting out of control. Normally, our research does not unravel the timeline this much. I suspect the other infinites are to blame. Use this chrono stabilizer to zip up the frayed rifts. Be aware, this may briefly create even more anomalies. I trust you know how to handle them. I I'm hoping with combat. How how is the music? How are the uh, sound settings? In, in PTR, they like you don't get to keep any of your like settings from retail. It resets like all of your. Settings. I feel like the music and stuff's a little bit low, and I feel like the music is gonna be pretty good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crank that up a bit. That seems a little bit better. Let me know if it gets too loud. Be sad dog. Good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. It is good to see you here. Be mindful of your time, hero. Fair skies and strong winds. Uh, let's see. Oros, our antiquities collector, should have a chrono badge you can use to fasten together the temporal threads you collected. With the Chrono Badge, Momentus can craft the threads into a powerful cloak for you to wear. This has been time well spent. Sounds cool. Why are you here? Okay, the Chrono Badge. So we're sp we're spending bronze. We we have a cap of two hundred thousand bronze, and apparently bronze can get us toys. Bronze can get us mounts. Yeah, mounts and toys. At least from this guy. Trust only your eyes. Trust no one. All right, now we need to talk to him. Ask Momentus to forge you an artifact. Speak your truth. That cloak will be able to absorb loose threads of time, adding them to its own magic. The prospect of infinite power is enticing, is it not? Just don't let it go to your head. Pleasant spending time with you. With the temporal magic in this cloak, you will be able to see and collect the scattered threads of time. There is no limit to how many you can have. Once you don your cloak, you will be able to find threads on any enemy. The cloak will naturally absorb those threads, permanently increasing your power. Try collecting a thread from the nearby infinite ravengers. 
Until next time. Okay, let's equip it. Where are all the wrenches that are usually here? I I don't know. They were here earlier. Here, uh, let's let's just do this. Boop. And uh, and then let's do let's do this. Boop. There we go. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see anything. I saw somebody comment, but I I didn't see any. I didn't see the whatever it was. Yeah, somebody said somebody was spamming, but I didn't see anybody spamming. And uh, and be sad, dog. Lail, you are now you are now blue. So whatever, whatever. You guys see something? Just go ahead and take care of it. I, I didn't see it on my end. And I appreciate it ahead of time. Camping King, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome. What time is it? Always. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, we, we got a thread. Uh, something happened. So right now our item level is 13. I'm assuming that's going to like continue to grow. Uh, we have one last anomaly to deal with here before we can study the history of Pandaria. Help us stabilize the timeway and secure our mission. Defeat Aratus, the Unwoven Paradox. This has been time well spent. <laughs> I appreciate the the repeat, but not necessary, girl. I gotta I gotta go ahead and uh I'm just gonna remove that. <laughs> just because personal info. Personal info is in there. You gotta be careful about putting personal info up. Yeah, that was one of those scenarios where like I didn't need to know, you know. I appreciate you wanting to let me know, but I I didn't see it. I didn't need to know. You're late. Oh, uh, different timelines. Our operations here are secure for now. Anyway, it is time for you to begin your journey to the past, so that we may observe how history unfolded. Speak with Eternus if you have any final questions about our mission. She can show you how these events began. Uh, group finder? That's that's interesting. Sans be in your Am I going to need a, uh, a group finder? Thanks, Lael. Am I going to need a group finder? Yeah, maybe. Change is, good. is this going to play just like the uh, like the cutscenes? Let's go ahead and have a look at, at what this does. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to play like the opening cutscene for Pandaria. Okay, okay. It, it destroyed the game instead. <laughs> it, it, it borked the game, but here we here we go, cutscene. Alliance blood spills. This pleases me, General. There's more. I received word that our southern fleet engaged an Alliance envoy. We chased the royal flagship until it ran aground. Aground? Where? Apparently, they found a massive, uncharted landmass, shrouded by dense mists. And you let the Alliance get there first! Redirect the invasion fleet! General, you and your best veterans will pave our way, storm the shore, and paint this new continent red! Cool. So, is this going to be a better way to experience the Mist story than, like, obviously, like, I, obviously, and you guys can tell me if I'm, like, way off base about this, but the fact that this exists, the fact that, like, let's say they had this remix idea, <clears throat> the fact that they did it with Mist of Pandaria instead of, like, Warlords or Legion or anything else, to me that says we're, we're not going to have to suffer through a, a Mist classic. Because this seems like it's going to tell the story, like if you're interested in the story of MOP, this feels like it's going to get you there. And so to me, this precludes the need or the desire for there to be a Mist of Pandaria classic. But that's just my take. Maybe it's a bad take. All right, here we go. Recalling the war. We will meet. So yeah, we're we're in. 
now we're in. We're 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 in now. This is Mr. Pandaria now. Yeah, it's gonna be better than obviously like it's gonna be better than the Chromie timelines. Chromie timelines were a big failure, mainly because you, you don't get to really you only get to see a couple zones, you never get to see the patch content. But to me, like them starting this with mist. Uh, like maybe that's just wishful thinking. Maybe I just don't. I don't want to have any more. I, wa I want kind of want the classic experiment to kind of end with uh, Cataclysm. Uh, I'm gonna check these out because that's kind of like the point, I guess. Uh, then again, I, I could save reading. I could save reading them until we're doing it live. Uh, use the gunship turrets to kill 80 Thunderhold troops. Maybe I'll, I'll save the reading for when it's like fully released, and, uh, and then I'll probably read them all. I feel like, yeah, I feel like it could, it could make a good recorded series, too, I feel like, because then people can just kind of see the entire story of, uh, of Mist. Now, what I'm wondering, because I, I, I don't know for sure, I'm wondering if it's going to be only main story, right? Like, there's no way it's going to be main story and all the side quests and all that stuff, because uh, we wouldn't we level too fast for that? So I, I have to think that it's going to be uh, just the main story quest. Do I think they'll redo Classic and TBC like this? If they did, it wouldn't be for a while. I, I think we'd probably be more likely to get Legion re Remix or WAD Remix or even BFA Remix before we go back and we see like... Because like, the later games have like a, a true main story. And, like, I don't know that Vanilla or TBC have, like, main story quests. Some of them, you know, but I don't know. I think it'd, I think it'd be harder with older versions of the game. Uh, so we're just blasting stuff, right? I, I don't really... I don't see a lot of action. But maybe that's because, like, everybody's blasting all at once. I, I'd love to see a Shadowlands remix where they tell us the, the actual story the way it was intended to be told with, like, you know, some kind of actual coherency. Because I'm, I'm in the camp of people that believe that, like, the Shadowlands story was supposed to turn out to be something totally different than it was. And I'd like to see, like, whatever the actual story. With Steve Denuser being gone, like, that's very unlikely. But that, that'd that be cool, though. A true remix. Like, here's the actual story you didn't get to hear. Similar, but different. I'm like, I'm like, not hitting anything. I see them, there's like, yeah, they're spawning in. Okay, they're spawning in way in the back. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> PTR's a little buggy. All right, now I need I need a Thunderhold cannon. Okay, I see I see a cannon. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, so for this, we're getting Cash of the Infinite Treasure. Is this gonna have like awesome loot in it? Have a good one. Yeah, it looks like every quest reward is gonna be. A, I bet this is like personal loot. You guys remember when I talked about well, like what I wanted Season of Discovery to be? <clears throat> How I imagined like a, a season of personal loot, basically, where like all of the all of the quests and like you'd run around and you find treasure and you'd pop the chest open or or you'd complete this new quest and it would give you a cool piece of gear like for your class for your spec. I feel like I feel like they took that idea and they put it into this time running ability unlocked. You can drag this onto your bar. 
we have extract gem. Extract a gem from one of your socketed items. Okay, okay, so we can re-socket stuff without burning the gem. That's going to be important. I think the gems are going to be what gives us abilities. And Unraveling Sands. Summon Unraveling Sands that transform your unwanted items into bronze. Okay, yeah, so these are like cornerstones of, of the season, of the event. It's not a season. Uh, let's see. Use the repelling rope to reach the ground. Let's open our uh, our cache of infinite. I know the music here is probably like kind of let's let's get down below. Maybe the music will be not quite as absolutely crazy uh, if we do that. Where are my ropes? Uh, here we go. The lighting here, the lighting here seems different than like whatever the last time I saw this was. I, I played in MOP on, on my Night Elf Druid. I quested in MOP a little bit on the Night Elf Druid in, in retail like like five or six months ago. But for some reason like the lighting just seems a little different. Maybe it's just that it's too dark. Okay, uh, let's open these. We got, we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a shield. We got a two-handed sword that I'm gonna I'm gonna equip. I think. Oh, we already have. Oh, this is giving us like uh, like just different options, basically. One-handed sword, a two-handed staff, which is interesting. We'll open the next one. Chipped deadly sapphire. This is uh, a gem. It has plus critical strike. Y combine three of this gem to create a more powerful gem. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Uh, we do have socket. So I could socket this now. And I could unsocket it later. Let's go ahead and test that theory. Let's do that. Yeah, I, I can socket. So we can socket it now. Once we get two more, we'll combine them. But let's go ahead and we'll add some crit. And then I, I think I'm gonna... I think I'll stay with the two-hand build for now. Although, like... We, we could go sword and board, because I do love a good sword and board warrior. And if we if we do sword and board... Then I, I can pull a couple of abilities out here. Um, the only problem becomes... I, I need, like, keybind space. Let, let's do something like this. All right, yeah, let's let's go with this. Uh, gems, uh, gems of power. During your journey through Pandaria, you will find many more gems that improve your combat abilities. Any gem can be removed. Yep, we we figured that out. Oh, look, then they gave us two more. So they they wanted you to socket that one, so that you then had to go like pull it back out immediately. Uh, to combine it with the other two that they just gave us. Is that is that what happened? Or wait, oh, maybe not. Maybe we haven't gotten that far yet. Maybe that was just the reward. There we go. Now now we got it. Yep. So they're, they're making you use the systems, which is a smart idea. So now this is plus plus. It's double plus crit strike. Let's Let's pop that back in. There we go. Uh, we also have Time Runder Bandages. Heals the caster for 10% of maximum HP. Okay, that, that seems good. The chip of the Horde Spear. No greater honor. Yeah, so everything we do is going to give us these chests. Uh, this one, for some reason, I, I can't open. That's that's really weird. Oh, oh, we just that's why I can't open it. We disconnected. A big old disconnect. Let's hope that we can get right back in. It looks like we're good.
blood and thunder. Our orders stand, no matter the cost. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, now it now it opened. So they're also giving us the bandages, and we're get, we're collecting bronze. Now, yeah, the cool thing is they're tracking bronze by default, which is nice. Uh, as far as mounts, let's let's just use something like relatively normal. That seems good. I'm assuming I can't fly here. That's kind of what I'm assuming. All right, we have to destroy munitions and we have to kill some troops. And we're going to be doing it over this way. It's too far away. Uh, equipping a weapon would be good. I thought I had equipped a weapon, but apparently, apparently no. No weapons were equipped. There we go. Now, now we're good. Now we have a weapon. Mm -hmm. You can dragon ride, and if you fly through the orbs in the sky, they give you bronze. What? <laughs> okay, okay. I will, I will, I will keep my eyes open for, uh, for orbs. Oh shit! Really? Um. Okay. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna super go out of my way right now. But yeah, like when when the game is live, when I'm when I'm doing it for actual rewards, then yes, I will probably have to uh, improve my dragon riding a little bit because I, I definitely want I want all the bronze. Uh, I'm being attacked from somewhere. I can't. I don't. Maybe this guy. Yeah, here we go. Need to get closer. Alright, obviously we, we have to turn off error speech. We will take care of, I'd like to turn off my personal resource display as well if I can find that in the interface options. Uh, let's do the sound setting first. We want... Oh, okay, I'm dying. That's, that's unpleasant. I don't like that. I'm standing in fire, I think, which is always bad. But I also think I have people attacking me. Uh, error speech off. Okay, and then... Options. It's personal... Personal resource display off. There we go. Okay, uh, that's cool. I wish I wasn't in combat. We could try these bandages. For some reason, you you can't be in combat, even though like traditionally, you can use bandages in combat. For some reason, here I can't. Maybe that's just like a retail change.
I guess like as I'm forced to fight a million guys that I don't need, whereas like in retail that would typically be really annoying, we're getting bronze. And so like everything we're fighting, everything we're doing, like it kind of matters a little bit more than it would if you were just trying to level up. You'd probably get annoyed by being stuck in combat with everybody else's mobs and having to run around for an hour trying to find these things. But yeah, like it, it, if we're getting stuff, then it, cool. Like we're getting rewarded for our efforts and that, that's nice. That being said, I would really love to finish this quest. There we go, that should be the last one. Camping King, that's awesome, man. That's really nice. Yeah, I, I hope to be doing that. In War Within, I think I'll try to... I'll try more to do raids. I think in, in Dragonflight, I'll probably focus on Mythics, Mythic 5-mans. But I think like in War Within, I'll probably try to get into raiding. All right, so this stuff is done. Um, I believe they both turn in up the way. I suppose that if we can, if we can dragon ride, then maybe we we might as well do that. I suppose it seems like they want us to dragon ride. So I I don't have a dragon riding mount. So now I'm I'm very confused. Um, or wait, no, I I I don't understand why. No, I have no idea. I apparently we can dragon ride, except I my character does not seem to start with a dragon riding mount. Which is really weird. Like maybe Oh my god, we're just gonna get killed by random shit. They need to change this. This is like I, I need to I can I report this as an issue? Like I need to report this as an issue. This cause this is like really bad design. Time runner badges. Need. Need to be usable while in combat. Like they have to be usable while in combat. Like otherwise they're they can be basically useless in any scenario like this. And then if you want to disable them in like raids or five mans or something, then disable them, but like they need to be they need to be usable at all times. Eva, good afternoon. Welcome to the stream. And welcome to anybody that I've missed. Uh, I am trying to focus a little bit on what I'm doing. So if I missed you, I apologize. Slay Captain Doran in Thunderhold. Okay, let's take a look at our at our items here. Uh, I also, we, there's supposed to be a vendor that we can um, we can get rid of our old equipment. And it turns it into bronze. So instead of vendoring it for gold, we'll be turning it into bronze. I, I hope we find somebody soon that can help us do that. We're getting we're getting time running badges and bronze from a lot of the chests. So not all of the chests are gonna have gear in them. Is this new? This is on the PTR. It's a new mode of the game called Mr. Pandaria Remix or Mr. Pandaria Time Running or Mr. Pandaria Pandemonium, depending on what you're looking at or who you're talking to. Uh, and yeah, it's going to be coming out on April 23rd. This is the PTR. And it's basically like a, a new cool way to level up a character that will be able to go into, uh, into War Within eventually. Seems like it's gonna be cool. Uh, okay, so we're destroying barricades. Where where am I going for this? The the indicator says I'm going directly above my own head. So I'm assuming there will be a staircase. Here we go. Nice. 
The gold gold. Oh, this this transforms the gear. Okay, okay, yep. And I probably read that. Unwanted items. Yeah, I probably read it and it just slipped my mind. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, okay, okay. And then I... Oh, nice, 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 nice. Yeah, okay. Very cool. We scrap all of it. And we'll look at all the bronze we rake in. What about this thing? Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll scrap that too. We got we got a bonus objective completed for that. We got more bronze. This this is cool. Yeah, that was nice. I didn't have to find a vendor. I didn't have to wait till I got back in town. Like, way to go. He's out. He just jumped off the thing. Okay, okay. He's flying. He's flying. Um, that seems bad for us. Seems really bad. I tell you, this probably is going to be a really cool way to, like, see the actual story of Pandaria. I, I think when this comes out, I'm going to- I want to do it as a recorded series, maybe. That way I can read all the quests, I can let all the cutscenes play out. I'll get- I'll get to see the patch content. Like, I never got to see the patch content in, in Mr. Pandaria. I, I quit after I hit max level, because <laughs> I was totally burned out of the game by that point. And so I didn't see any of the patches, I didn't see, like, really any of the five mans or any of the raids. So this could be this could be a lot of fun. Uh, Time Runner's Drought of Health restores 260 HP and increases stamina by three percent for 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's just let's pop that now. That's cool. Uh, this is uses increases haste by 15 percent. This is drums. This lasts 40 seconds, so if we're in like a really tough fight, I can pop drums. Nothing shall stand in our way. Ha! We bring only our honor and the desire to crush our enemies. Have your kind been aiding the Alliance? It is not our desire to get wrapped up in your bloodshed. Now have your men lower their weapons, or you will face two enemies on this continent. <laughs> All right, so 20 Shah and 7 Shah Harbingers. I feel like my best bet was like to hang out up top and uh, and wait for respawns. Uh, we do need more harbingers.
Okay, now we're good. We can get out of here. Uh, can we take like a shortcut? Can we can we jump off of here? We could probably jump off of here, but if we're not too picky as to whether or not we live, then like maybe we can. Ah, uh, maybe they just. W oh wait wait wait. Oh there we go. Okay okay. Um, that looks like a pretty a pretty serious fall. Maybe there's water. Okay, maybe maybe we can live from this. Uh, yeah, we're probably probably dead. Can I do a charge? Oh, I did the I, I charge tricked it. No fall damage. Play of the game. Play of the game right there. Uh, something has happened to me. Prayer scroll of purged anger. Releases purged anger when hit. Inflicts physical damage to enemies within eight yards and stuns them for three seconds, three minutes remaining. Uh, okay. Uh, we have talents to spend because yeah, talents. Mortal strike. Oh, I'm I'm. I guess they put me they put me right into the arms tree. Um, which I guess I guess that's okay. Yeah, I don't really know what I want to do. I just kind of maybe I should just kind of go fury. I guess eventually I I just want to equip some like some big two handed weapons and and go to town. Let's do that. Let's do bloodthirst. My my bar is getting pretty full already. Okay, now now here's my question. When I envisioned this, I thought they would only be having us do main story quest because I, I'm kind of wondering like. How is one gonna, like, see the whole expansion if we're doing side quests as well as main story? Or may maybe we're not meant to see the whole expansion. Maybe we're only gonna end up doing, like, a zone or two? Like, I, I wonder how this is gonna work. Um, mm hmm Yeah, I thought they were gonna kind of pare it down. Maybe they did. Maybe, like, some side quests are still in and others are not. Yeah, see this gives us this gives us what we want, so we have to do it. We can't pass it up. Welcome. I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, they said yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought we would play through main story, raids, the patch content. Like I don't know how we're gonna do all that content on one character if we're doing side quests. If we're doing side quests too, we're gonna level up way too fast. Like you're you're gonna hit you're gonna hit seventy after like two or three zones, not even like finishing the core or like story, not even getting into the patch content. It's gonna be the same as it is right now. It's gonna be the same as if you were to go do time walking in in, in retail right now. Like you'll get through a few zones, but then you're you're gonna be level capped by then. That's gonna be it. Shadow, I not only am I preparing for it, I'm I'm testing it. This is the PTR, buddy. Yeah, we're doing we're doing the Mr. Pandaria remix right now. Yeah, I mean I'm not really so much as preparing, just kind of like checking it out. Yeah, I guess it'll, it'll give me a better idea of what to expect. This guy is just running around grabbing all my stuff. Get out of here.
we're also looting, uh, we looted a gem off of this guy, so we're gonna be looting gems and, like, all kinds of stuff. So we, ha we have leech. I should probably put these into my gear, right? Even though we don't have three of them yet, I, ha I have lots of, uh, lots of slots available. Or maybe we don't. No, we have one slot here. Let's do some leech. And then, yeah, oh, that's it. I, I need to get some more gear. We, we badly need, like, some other pieces. This land is ours. It just doesn't know it yet. Well. Monica, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to the stream. Is, is the current WoW any good? Uh, let me see, is it any good? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got lots of lots of crates to open. Uh, gems. We we got um, something, some kind of trinkets. I'm really hoping we get some gear, but it seems like that's pretty rare. We received savior. I'm receiving things. We're gonna have to check them out because I don't uh, I don't know what they are. This is a tinker gem. Uh, unique. Healing an ally beneath 35% HP will grant them a shield, absorbing 50% of the amount healed. This is not for us. So that maybe this is one of the things I can trash, uh, turn it into bronze. And then we got Frost Armor, which is also a Tinker Gem. Your abilities have a chance to grant Frost Armor, absorbing damage. That could be really good. Fits in a Tinker Socket. Now, I don't think I have any Tinker Sockets. No, I think like I'm using the sockets that I have and they are not tinker sockets and yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. Jess, Mike, good afternoon. Welcome. Oh, we got a wrist guard here with nine leech on it. Oh, this has a tinker slot. Of course, of course, they're just going to give us what we need so that we can experiment with it. Okay, so in this tinker slot, we are going to put frost armor. And now, yeah, now we have a chance to give ourselves frost armor, absorbing damage for one minute. Could be kind of broken. Could be kind of broken. We will see. Also, it inflicts frost damage to the attacker and nearby enemies. So when we have this on and they're hitting us, like they're dealing damage to themselves and others. So yeah, it's, um, it's something. Third Coast Mermaid, good afternoon. Welcome. Marson, welcome. Thank you guys very much for being here. Ooh, we have uh, an infinite quest over here. Something like outside of the timeline. Lion's blood must spill. You may give these soldiers Let's go check that out. We could probably also set the hearthstone here. Do I even have a hearthstone? I have not been paying attention. I do have a hearthstone now. Okay. Tell me of your travels. Oh, this is literally going to tell us to uh, to set the hearthstone. 
May your oh, she, oh, they wanted. Control. Okay, I, I can't. I have to drop my Hearthstone so that I can complete this quest. Greetings. This was the quest to give Hello. us a Hearthstone. I, I, I got ahead of the quest. So now Tell I can talk to her. Quest. Now I can do that. Your days bring you joy. Well, that's nice. What else? Oh, you're one of the infinites. As always, on time. This land is more vast than I remember. However, a good scholar always prepares for contingencies. Two of the most airborne dragons have agreed to aid our cause. They will provide a winged mount so you may cover more ground. I will send you to Lord Andestraz. He shall instruct you further. Okay, they're going to inaugurate us to dragon riding. Guys and I, I see what they're doing. Uh, what is the? Oh, that's a portal. What is this? Snacks and scrolls. Oh, it, it, all this costs bronze. We can buy bandages. We can buy vials. Mana regen. Uh, this is like what we already have going on us right now. That is going to increase stamina. Uh, increase strength. Oh, I'm going to buy a stack of five. And we can kind of play with those. Uh, Nostwin's voucher returns you to a nearby infinite bazaar. In case we want to get back and like upgrade some stuff or buy some stuff, let's just grab a stack of these. Uh, Timeless Scroll of Summoning begins a ritual that creates a summoning portal, so warlocks, you're out of luck. Anybody can do that trick now. I increase stamina by 4% for an hour. Okay, okay. Oh man, they got all kinds of stuff. Okay, like any scroll you could imagine, basically. Versatility. Damage weakens the target. I mean, can we stack these? If I if I if I put these up on myself, can I have them up together? Yes, we can. Some of them. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, and then we're going we're going this way. What's with the janky animations of those two NPCs? Like obviously like obviously any jank you see we can just associate it with the fact this is the PTR. It's the it's the public test room. So this is still in testing. Anything is subject to change, things will be changed, things will be finalized and polished and all that stuff. How fair the winds today? Uh let's see, let's go with red. Fair skies and strong winds. I still don't have it. Okay. Here we go. Now I have it. Haven't we done this before? I'm gonna skip this. We know how to dragon ride. Okay, so if you know how to dragon ride, you don't have to do this. That's that's awesome. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Maybe they should have done Cataclysm like this instead. It's possible, yeah. Uh, time will tell. We'll find out soon. All right, so we're level 13 already. Raging blow. I need to get a two-hander because yeah, I have too many abilities with uh, with my shield slam. So I need to I need to get a two-hander. I'm gonna do this for now. Yeah, that that's fine. I I destroyed my two-hander. <laughs> that was smart of me. Okay, so yeah, now we can now we can drag and fly. Let it begin. That was not that was not a long flight. Uh, a couple of things that I have to do here really fast. I need I need some key bindings. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, main action bar. This needs to be tilde. Okay. And then we also have to have a way to quickly dismount. Okay, that'll work. We got a pair of gloves. That gives us another slot for a gem. We also got another tinker gem. Grants a shield absorbing damage equal to 20% of your total HP. The shield will regenerate after not suffering any damage for 5 seconds. So the gloves have a tinker slot in them. Let's go ahead and we'll use this. So now we have a frost armor effect and we have a, an absorption shield effect. All right, cool, cool, cool. And it kind it kind of shows like it's very small. You could probably barely see it, but it does show you like what has gems in it. It's like I don't know if this is like if this is a retail thing or not. I don't remember noticing this, but I think that's pretty cool. You can kind of hover over it, and it will tell you right away what's on it. All right, uh, what else? There's a side quest right here. I guess we're doing the side quest because they give caches of infinite treasure. So I was wrong about it being like main quest focused. This makes you wonder if we'll get Mop Classic. My guess would, my guess and my hope would be no. I feel like for them to release this and before they even release Cataclysm is kind of an indicator that they're thinking about like not doing Mist Classic, which I would be fine with, honestly. This seems like it's gonna be a much more uh, fun and exciting way for anybody to experience uh, Mop. They gave me all the bags from the start. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, big bags. Yeah, I don't think they I don't think they want me to worry about bags, yeah. Uh there's no uh, there's no auction house in this mode of the game. So there's not like a, a way to go and like just buy bags. So yeah, they they gave you what you needed. I can already tell I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more action bars. Let's put like our consumables and stuff like that like up top, kind of like out of the way. There we go. Now I wonder. No, our boots, our boots have no slot. Okay. Moving on. We are looking for items. Rifle, left eye. Maybe we're just like fighting stuff in the area. Yeah, it looks like we're just fighting anything in the area. Uh, for chance to drop. I feel like I want to turn my gamma up a bit. I feel I feel like it's a little dark. I'm not sure like if they change something. Ground clutter. Some of you guys love ground clutter. I, I sometimes I think the ground clutter is too much. I'm gonna keep it at an eight. Uh, gamma. Let's. That's that's a little. But I think I'm gonna keep it like this. One point one. Yeah, that looks a little bit better for me. It was looking a little bit like everything was a little too dark.
I, I would say they could probably like increase the spawn rate by 100%. And then that would probably be okay. Uh, where did I put this? Oh, I put this over here. Okay, yeah, that's not... That's probably not, like, a really great spot for it. I'm gonna switch these out. Why... Why am I not able to do this? Oh, I need to be dual-wielding. Okay, yeah, we have to... We have to find another weapon, like, ASAP. Maybe... Maybe there will be vendors. Maybe I just didn't notice the weapon vendors. I don't know. It's like the lack of mobs is kind of crazy. Dustin, yes. Yeah, there will be. Yep, I haven't recorded anything in the last couple days. I've been really focused on what I've been doing, and I haven't had the time. Uh, but I'll, I'll get to it. Keep your eyes I, I'm not. I'm not in a rush, man, because like honestly, we have the pre-patch coming up, and I'm pretty sure this character is still going to be like in the old world when the pre-patch happens. So, like the fact of the matter is, like we really weren't expecting Cataclysm for a little bit longer, and I feel like they're rushing Cataclysm out. And I, I, I don't really, like, have good vibes about, like, what they're doing. Like, I feel like having only a little a couple weeks notice until pre-patch, that's kind of unheard of. Having only, like, uh, about a month notice before the expansion, that's, like, that's not a lot of time. And so, I don't know. There will be more videos of the mage, but I, I'm not, it's not something that I can really focus on right now, unfortunately. There, there are so many other, like, more interesting things uh, to do in WoW right now that it just, like... It's not like my main focus. Take your time. Enjoy. And the fact that I feel like they're rushing it out a few weeks early um, doesn't really help. Be good. I don't know what's going on here, but um, we're involved now. All right, yeah, that works. Yeah, there's too many versions of WoW to play, which on the one hand is really great. Uh, you know, but on the other hand, it kind of forces you to make some choices as to like how you're going to spend your time. Yeah, there's there's too many too many versions of the game and they're all good. 
it's my fault for getting into Mythic Plus. Like, I'm really, I'm really interested in Mythic Plus now, so, like, that's my bad. I, I found a new way to enjoy the game that I, I really wasn't expecting, so... Now I really have, like, too many ways to play the game. And now I'm, I'm about to have this. Like, this is gonna go live on the 23rd. Uh, I'm gonna level a Hunter this way. You know, pretty soon, pretty like in a, in a couple months, we'll be in the in the uh, beta for War Within. Then we'll be in the War Within pre patch, and there's just like a lot of stuff going on. Like, and then Cata's gonna come out amidst amidst like War Within pre patch. Like, I feel like Cataclysm and War Within. Like, don't put Cataclysm and War Within next to each other because I'm gonna pick War Within. I'm gonna pick the new retail expansion over like everything else, and that's gonna be my focus when that comes out, so... We'll see. We'll see how it all shakes out. Even, a even after quitting Sod, I still feel like I'm gonna have too many things to do in the game. And I quit an entire version of the game, so you'd think that would help out, but it, it hasn't really helped. I still have too much I want to do. Yeah, season yeah, season four and the pre patch. Oh man. Or the yeah, the season four and the pre patch on the twenty sixth. Season four on the twenty third. This comes out this comes out on the twenty third as well, I think, right? And then pre patch on the twenty sixth or on the on the thirtieth. It's it's a lot of stuff all happening at the end of the month. I I, I thought the date for for the new patch in retail was also gonna be the twenty third, but maybe I misread. Yeah, might might want to look into that. I I think ten two seven is also like w it comes out the day that season four is supposed to start, which I feel like is also really fast. Sorry, I should be I should be less distracted. I should play a little bit more. Eva, that's awesome. I'm really happy to hear that. You're never too high of an item level for a low key. <laughs> if a low key is what you're comfortable with, then just do low keys. When I, when I first started doing them the other day, I thought that I would only try to do mythic zeros. And then like quickly, quickly I, I started doing higher and higher keys. So I wonder, we have this item that teleports us back to a, uh, a timeless bazaar. Ooh, what's this? It's a two-handed sword. Okay, okay. Now I need, I need one more of these now. Because I don't think I can do a one-hander. Can I do like a one-hander and a two-hander? Can I do this? I can do this. Okay. And now I can use this. So we'll, we'll get that off the bar. We'll do this. It's, it's a little weird. Ideally, we'd have two two-handers, but we'll run with this for now. Um, I have to do something with these. I think I have to shoot down. Yeah, we gotta, like, shoot these down. Okay, and we, so we have to pick them up off the ground, and then we shoot down the helicopters. We're also talking to the pandas because apparently the Alliance has enslaved them, which is not very Alliance-like of them, but apparently it's happened anyway.
I, uh, I do see this up here. And we are going to go for it. Uh, I don't think this copter is supposed to be here. We are going to try to move away from that. And we, we still need a bunch of indentured pandas. It's a kind of a small area. Maybe we need to head out into the forest a little bit to have better luck. Maybe there's just a lot of other players here. over you. Enough of that. Speak up. Goodbye. Welcome. Farewell. Oh, hello. May your days bring you joy. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just take the L here. <laughs> uh, it's it's worth it. It's totally worth it. Uh, maybe I could have fought them if I had like been paying attention to any of my button presses. Hi there. Bye bye. What do you need? There we go. And that works out just fine with me. Be sad, dog. Thanks for being here, man. We'll see you later. Time is money, friend. Keep it real. All right, we got some boots with that one. That's got a cogwheel slot. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we we don't have a cogwheel gem. Prismatic gem. Uh, I wonder if I can pop, like, a regular gem into this, or if it can only accept a cogwheel slot. Let's see... Let's go with... Maybe just some leech. Yeah, it has to be a cogwheel slot, okay. And we don't... we don't have one of those yet. I do have one. Talon, thank you, man. Yeah, I didn't see this. I appreciate that. 
All right. So yeah, it, make, it makes sense. They keep giving us like a new thing and then giving us what we need to experiment with the new thing. This gives us disengage, which, you know, leaps backwards, clearing movement impairing effects and increasing your movement speed by 25% for four seconds. So now we have a hunter ability. Like that's, that's pretty cool. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah, that, that's very nice. Chip of the Horde Spear, no greater honor. Fear. Their leader is still in height. Find him! Uh, we got Grounding, which is a Tinker Gem. Reduces magic damage taken by 90% and redirects the next harmful spell, targeting an ally within 30 yards to you. Okay, that's interesting. That's that's kind of like a almost like a tanking thing. I think I'm gonna keep what I have. We have the shield and we have frost armor, and I think for now I'm gonna keep that. Does it seem a bit like sod? A stuff on your gear that gives you spells? It seems so much better than sod because we're just like we're just getting the cool stuff as we go. Like, I don't have to open up a guide to Wowhead to, like, research my best stuff. This it feels like it's going to be a lot more random. So, like, the stuff I'm getting has nothing to do with my class. That's the that's the big difference and, like, the very important thing to keep in mind. Is, like, in Sod, you were only finding stuff that was for your class. All The only discoveries you'd ever find, the only new abilities you ever got, were class-restricted. And there, was, there were probably fewer of them, and they probably, like, you know, you needed certain ones for your build. And it feels like with this, there's going to be more. Uh, it's not class restricted, and it, it feels like it's going to let you build your character kind of how you want. This is more like what Sod should have been. This is more like what a season of discovery like really should have been. Like lots of cool loot, uh, lots of cool gems, trinkets, abilities. Like this is what a season of discovery like really is. All right, uh, let's see. We are heading over this way. A limited time only what what if people really like it then they'll probably do something similar in, again in the future you know like they'll probably do like a legion remix a wad remix and then maybe they cycle through them so that you know kind of like with time walking like every so often you get a new time walking maybe every so often you get a new remix maybe eventually there's always a remix in rotation and then like kind of like uh time walking now maybe it takes two weeks off and or three weeks off or whatever it is and then the next remix comes out so it'll probably if people like it and it's successful it'll probably be on some kind of rotation once they add more of them that's what i would do with it yeah i i would i would do or if, if, it, if it really kicks off and people really like it i would remix a couple more eras and then i would i would have a rotation so i would probably do uh, i'd probably do legion next but they're kind of going in order, so, you know, maybe you just, like, maybe you just do Warlords of Draenor next. And then you do Legion. And then I think you chill for a while. You do, you do, uh, Ma you do Wad, you do Legion, and then maybe you cycle Mr. Pandaria back in. Like, I don't know if we're ready for a BFA remix <laughs> or a Shadowlands remix. But I think eventually, yeah, you definitely could if people enjoy it. Maybe you find a way to do a Burning Crusade, even though Burning Crusade doesn't have like a big MSQ, like the way they're doing this, the way I see it doesn't seem to matter. So yeah, maybe eventually you see a Vanilla Remix or a TBC Remix or a Wrath of the Lich King Remix. Like literally the sky's the limit. And I think that'd be really freaking cool if they did exactly that. Well done. Hmm. What is this shadow? What is the alliance playing at? Uh, we have we have talent points. Your foe was uh, spell reflect. I don't really I don't know like I don't really care that much about spell reflect. Uh, fast footwork movement speed increased by five percent could be good. Uh, impending victory replaces victory rush. Okay, like sure. 
Maybe that's just better? Like, yeah? I don't know if I want that or not. We'll go with it for now. It's not, it's not really, it's just PTR. It's not really important what build I go with, I guess. And keep in mind, like, with this, it, it's it's more than that we're just getting, like, little gems that have abilities. Like, it's more than that. Because the, even, like, the armor we have has different kinds of stats on it than what we would normally see. Like, we have haste, we have haste and leech. We had an item that had speed on it, like, character movement speed. And so it's not even just, like, the, the gems that we're slotting. It's the gear itself uh, that is, like, very different and could allow you to, like, make a very specific kind of build. For the horde. I really want to know, like, how long it took them to make something like this. Like, what was the development time on this? Yo, have a good one. Season of Discovery done right. Yeah, it. it like, I think the biggest place that's apparent is just, like, the gem socketing, like, the cogwheel gems and whatnot, like... But, yeah, but the cool thing is they're passive, so it's not like I'm slotting a new ability and then I have a new ability that I have to work in, like... All of this stuff seems like it's going to be... Well, that's not true, because we got Disengage. So the, maybe the Tinker ones are, are passive, and then, what was this one? This was a cogwheel gem. Maybe the cogwheel ones are active, and the tinker ones are passive? Maybe that's a distinction? Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. It's like... It's a different way to do a classic era, and it's a different way to do a season of discovery type of thing. And it's kind of better... It's kind of better at both those things so far. And even, like, conceptually, it's kind of better at both of those things. It's it's probably a better way to provide a look at a classic era of the game, like, beyond Cataclysm. And it seems like it's a better take than, like, Season of Discovery. Yeah, the Frost Armor... Was the Frost Armor... Is that a usable ability? Maybe, maybe... Yeah, maybe that was actually usable. It didn't tell me to put it on my bar. No, see, this is just a chance. Your abilities have a chance to grant Frost Armor. Yeah, it's technically a, a mage ability, but like, uh, unlike Disengage, I don't have to click it. It's just something that happens. Johnny, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. I, I quit during MOP too, but I, I you know, I, I, I got burned out of the game at the beginning of MOP. Me and my friend power leveled pandas, and then like by the time we were doing like five mans and stuff, I was I was burned out. I think I, I think I rage quit in like the middle of a run. And, and so this will be cool for me because I've never I've never seen the five mans, the raids. I never got to see any of the patch content. So when this goes live, I'm I'm gonna really enjoy it. Kata has a big tie-in with the War Within. Um, how so? What do you mean? Like, story-wise? The Earthen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were, did they introduce them in Kata? Because I, I had never really, like, I, underst I understand what the Earthen are, I guess. But I don't remember ever meeting Earthen. So if it happened in one of the endgame zones in Kata, that would make sense. 
as to why, like, I don't really know, like, who they are. Okay, yeah, because, like, when they hit you, when they were, like, introducing the Earthen, I was like, who the f are the Earthen? And why the f do I care? But I guess if it was a Kata thing, that makes sense. I, I still would have rather had, like, any- like, we have a lot of dwarf races, really, don't we? We, we have regular dwarfs, we have customizations that can let you be like a, um, one of the other clans, like, I forget what their name is. The wild clan tribe or whatever they are. We have the, the dark irons now, like, don't we have enough dwarfs? Now we have elemental dwarfs that are slightly taller than other dwarfs. It's a lot of dwarfs. And I just kind of wish it had been anything else. I would I would have taken Naga. Naga would be cool. Maybe we'll get Naga eventually. <laughs> More gnomes, less trolls. I, I wish I can play the short races. It really, like, for me, it's about camera perspective. Even my, my Shaman in Dragonflight started as a dwarf, and then I decided that the camera perspective was too low, and I had to race change to uh, to a Draenei. I think I paid for that race change. Because I liked the dwarf, but they were too short. The camera was too low, and then the ground clutter, the ground clutter is like, it just it just surrounds your character. You can't even see your character most of the time. If they would fix their ground clutter so that ground clutter only came up like knee high, that'd be really awesome because then I could play shorter races. But until then, it's a, it's a non-starter. I can't do it. It need not apply unless you are at least five foot, five foot five, I guess. Uh, and so, like, we're getting- I'm noticing that sometimes we're getting these threads. And- oh, we got another chess piece, too. Let's- let's equip that. I'm assuming these are all gonna look the same. Yeah, these are all, like, feeling like they're gonna look the same. Uh, we're getting these threads. Like, we got Thread of Versatility. Weave this thread into your cloak. Is this something that I have to do manually? I thought this was just kind of happening on its own. And then I got Threat of Experience. Permanently increasing your experience gains. I'm not- I, I'm assuming this is happening automatically because I'm not seeing these items anywhere in my inventory. If I go to my cloak... The threads of time you find will be woven into this cloak permanently. I, I have to imagine that it's just happening automatically. Oh, this is where it tells you the Time Runner's advantage. Thank you. Okay, so this is everything we've picked up so far about from these threads. Three strength, 11, 11 stam, one crit, haste, leech. We got everything. And so all of these are going to continue to go up as we randomly pick up threads. That's really cool. I, I just noticed we were getting those. And we can check it right here. Okay, perfect. This is why PTR is great, because yeah, when, when it actually comes out, now I will already like understand all this stuff. I won't have to sit here and like question what's happening and why.
plus one leech. Yeah, it, it popped up there too. It, it was, I don't know if you guys saw it, it was in white text and it popped up and it said plus one leech. So if you're, if you're watching like on-screen pop-ups, apparently you can see it there too. Plus one stamina that time. Okay, I, I see now. I, I don't know if we weren't finding them before, or if I just wasn't noticing or wasn't paying attention. Now when it happens, it's like super obvious. I thought charge was gonna fail me there. I was gonna say I've never had charge drop me off a cliff and for a minute I thought charge was gonna drop us right off the cliff. That was a close one. Uh, we did get an upgrade here. Okay, so we got a couple upgrades. I, I need to... I need to pluck the gem out here. I need to equip this and then I need to pluck the gem out of this one. And then I need to regen. Uh, and then I'm noticing that we, we have uh, a couple here. We can combine these into a greater one. So I think I'm going to use this one to put into the chest slot. There we go. And we have unspent talents. It's gonna be a recurring theme. I improved in rage, increased your haste by 15, your movement by 10, that seems good. In rage regeneration, uh, reduces damage taken, restores a 20% health. That seems really good. Or execute no longer cost rage. Uh, yeah, we probably want all of these. Let's go with uh, no longer cost rage. Actually, let's, mm, I don't know. We'll, we'll grab all of them, I think. Let's go here first. Fresh corpses. Hmm. May your footsteps be silent. And this sword is a two-hander. I need to get another two-hander. We have a two-hander and a one-hander equipped, which is not That's ideal. This is the PTR. This is called Mr. Pandaria Remix. And if you don't know what that means, you should go over to Wowhead and they have some, uh, you know, they'll link it to the article explaining what Mr. Pandaria Remix is. And this is on the PTR right now. I believe this is supposed to go live into the game on April 23rd. All right, I have a couple abilities here. This is not just a pleasant, uh, not just a pleasant flight. I actually have to be doing stuff. Let's let's click the buttons. How am I finding it so far? We're really early on, but I, I'm loving it. It's it seems like it's going to be a blast. Yeah, 
Really looking forward to leveling some characters through it. Uh, first up, we're gonna do a hunter when it goes live, and then we'll we'll go from there. I, th I thought it was gonna have a renown track. Maybe maybe the renown track just isn't in the game yet. I was assuming it would have like a forty level renown track like Plunderstorm had. And then if that's the case, I wonder how many alts it would take to level through before you uh, before you have your your full forty renown track. We got Leap of Faith. This is a cogwheel gem. Uh, pulls the spirit of a party member or raid, instantly moving them. Okay, that's cool. We don't need that. Uh, but that would go... I believe that would go into our boot slot. Yeah, right now we have disengage. And I think I'm going to keep disengage. But yeah, you can see how we're getting a lot of different like abilities... Are they going to give us more character slots for it? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that... I'm assuming they would, yeah. It, it seems like it's a way they want you to level alt, so... I, I would assume that you... May, maybe maybe you got to do one at a time. Like, maybe you level one up, it, it transfers into the real game, and then you go again. Like, maybe something like that. I'm not sure how they'll handle it. We fight on. All right, guys, before we play anymore, I have to bio really quick. I'm sorry, I'm going to step away for one second, and I will be right back. Alright, let's keep going. Now, I have a major quest out here, but I I'm kind of hoping we get sent out that way. I am tempted to make... If we don't get sent out there soon, I'm going to make a special flight out there and see what's going on.
Hello, stranger. You are making quite an impression with the local posen. I dare say they are starting to feel you. You must. Yeah, the only reason I'm doing a warrior here is because I, I didn't want to try like a completely new class. I started a rogue right away. I, I just didn't want to. I, I understand the warrior a little bit, so I just thought like for the sake of testing, it'd be better to stick on something that I understand and not try to learn something new. Uh, when this comes out, I'm gonna do a hunter. But yeah, for this, I decided to go on a warrior just because I, you know, I played it lower level, so I was kind of familiar with some of the button pressing. Uh, I have to assume this guy is like in a cave, I guess. That yeah, that seems likely. What spec? I have no idea. I have oh, no idea. Pro probably like maybe done? beast mastery or, or marksmanship. Probably not survival. I'm assuming survival is still a melee spec, so probably not survival. The world. You come in peace, I hope. How does today find you? Thanks to your actions, the hoes and fear your people. Indulge me a moment. Ah, here we are. Over 14,000 years ago... And this NPC hates this it when you skip phase locations. You're supposed to accompany him all the way down the ramp outside. Called the okay, I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. The Mogul ruled right now I can't move anyway. And fear kept them in power until the first Pandaran monks taught my people courage. Then the Mogu were overthrown. You see, those who lead through fear only stay in power while those they govern lack courage. The Hosen are many things, but they are not cowards. Not for long. If you don't wish to fight them, you must inspire them. Pandaria welcomes you. Jade Serpent guide you. Follow me, traveler. Let us get to know one another better. I hope we don't lose him. I want to do this really quick. I am no There we go. As a lore walker. A kind of historian for my people. As such, knowledge is my armor, and I carry a quill in place of a sword. Much of Pandaria's past is shrouded in mystery, even to us. A lore walker's sworn duty is to rediscover our history, to rend that shroud piece by piece. This demands a tireless search for ancient clues and the wisdom to interpret them. Ah, here we are. Uh, be careful. I have had trouble in this area before. Greetings. Every good story needs a hero. This stone tells of a great Hosen warlord who lived here 2,500 years ago. Prepare yourself. Sorok Raiders approach. Sorok have 
plagued this land since the time of the Mogul. They are impossible to negotiate with. But thank you for your help. These notes are important to my studies. Your people well. I have everything I need. Quickly. Hey, we finally got a helmet. So the helmet is just a meta slot. Uh, I don't have any more gems that I can upgrade. So do we want haste? Do we want Enough HP regen? Let's talk about your people I'm assuming I'm still following this guy. Uh, maybe we just go mastery I'm for now until we can get a different gem. By watching you in action, you fight with the fervor of you. By the experience of an old wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. A meta gem. Oh, okay, this is a prismatic gem. Maybe. Here we go. Meta gem, life storm. Summon a storm. Call down five bolts of lightning every one second. Each bolt inflicts nature damage to an enemy within thirty yards. During the storm, three flowers this grow around the caster. Special. After five seconds, the flowers bloom, restoring HP and granting haste. Oh. Now, this will take only a moment. Oh. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Three-minute cooldown. That's a, that's a big cooldown. I like that it's like a three-minute cooldown, not like a 30-second cooldown. Oh, uh, here he is. Talent points. Auto attack speed increase seems good. Mark, good afternoon, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Eyes open. Oh, I would very much like to hear about your ancestor, stranger. Light the incense. And let us reflect on where you came from, eh? I want to see what this looks like. Okay. And then we would just... Okay. Cool. Perfect. So maybe for like a big AoE pull we'd pop that. Astounding. A lineage of great warriors. From a different world, no less. It is rare for a Pandaren to leave his or her homeland. You are rightfully proud of who you are. Yeah, it, do, it does have loot specialization. You, you can uh, change that.
all right like I, I i'm gonna fly over here and see what this is they're they're keeping me in this area and, and i really want to know what's over here so we're gonna make a little side trip and we are gonna go see i'd like to find a vendor to see like what other stuff i can spend my bronze on and i'm kind of hoping maybe there will be a vendor over here and it seems like story-wise, it's going to be a little while before we actually get here. How close is this to the release experience of, uh, of Mr. Pandaria, it's not. Like, the quests are the same. Like, all of the quests are gonna be the same. Um, you know, nothing has changed about- except you run into stuff like this, and like, anything like this is outside of the timeline. And so it's not- I would say it's not very close to like, how it was on release. And then obviously, like, you have upgraded Dragonflight graphics. It's not- it's not Mist Classic, you know? What do you want? But possibly, it's- it may be a better way for people to experience Mist who, like, didn't the first time around. That was it. This guy. Okay, he's. I. Oh, what is this? Oh. Oh. I can. I can upgrade my gear, in the same way that we can do that in Dragonflight with flight stones, and I can spend bronze on that. Do I really want to upgrade my gear though, or do I just want to kind of wait and see if I get better gear? Oh man. I feel like early on, it's probably best to save the bronze. Like, this is really cool that we can do this. It looks like it gives, like, plus 5, plus 11, plus 11. Okay. So it upgrades all the stats. Oh, this is, this is really cool. I think I would hold on to my bronze at this point. 326 is quite a bit compared to what I have. I, I think I would probably want to wait until I either had more resources... Or better gear. What is class apparel? What? Oh, what is? What does this guy wear? Like a Cthulhu mask? Where do I get me a Cthulhu mask? Oh damn! Arsenal, fanatical champions, aggression. Collect the appearance of this whole armor set. Okay, usable. These are these are like transmog class based. Complete the Isle of Thunder achievement with a time runner of any class. So before I can even purchase this, I have to, I have to make certain achievements. Complete landfall achievement. Oh, this is going to have some really sick transmog, isn't it? Oh man, okay, okay. Uh, what else? Heroic and mythic raid apparel? Uh, dungeon apparel? What is your purpose? Do not looking for group defeat they have quests to drive players into looking for group there's my favorite champion if you are in need of a mark to hunt I know a few dungeons worth exploring uh, we get a cash we get a uh, small amount of bronze for defeating three dungeon bosses seek let's grab truth. this you seek uh, this guy this guy has like raids Defeat the most powerful foes on Pandaria. Defeat two raid bosses. I think we're a ways out, but we'll go ahead and we'll grab it. Okay. Uh, let's see. World apparel. Greetings, traveler. Goodbye. Put on your going out look and let's get you somewhere fresh. Complete a scenario. I don't even know what that means, but okay. We'll take it. Uh, gem procurement. To say. And she's selling gems. Okay. Yeah, we're not gonna- we're not gonna spend anything Don't on any of this right now. But that's nice to know. Rare collections? What do you want? This guy has toys. This is the guy with like toys and mounts and stuff, right? Oh, he just has toys. Farewell. Does the level of gear increase your level? Uh, the level? Does the level of gear increase as you level? Not the stuff we have equipped, I don't think. It, it's not like heirlooms. Like it, This doesn't level with you, but I'm assuming the stuff we get will. Yeah, I'm assuming the gear that we pick up 
uh, will be a higher level as we are higher level. And then the, the Cloak of Infinite Potential, that levels up with us. Alright, back to it. Uh, it won't let me put a mark here. There we go. Scenarios are the instance-like things for a single player. For example, the one you do as Horde shows how they found Anduin. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm like super familiar with that or not. Uh, where is this? No, I have no idea. We're gonna assume it's like somewhere on the ground. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of, uh... All right, we got another helmet there to check out. Uh, this is the same. Yeah, we got leech here instead of mastery. I think I'll just keep the. I think I'll keep the mastery. We'll scrap these. You think I should queue up for a dungeon? I'm not sure if I can. We'll uh, we'll check it out. We'll see. Absolutely. If we can, we will. Maybe we could have this whole time. I'm not sure. This was an unskippable cutscene. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't skip this. So we gotta watch it.
okay, okay, okay. A random time running dungeon. We can't do this yet. Oh, we have to, <laughs> you have to pick a role, Robert. Now we can do it, now we're fine. Average wait time for DPS, eight minutes. Not bad for a PTR. Blood and thunder. Our orders stand, no matter the cost. We will succeed. Stay alive. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hey, we got some shoulders. And those have a tinker slot in them. Do I have any tinker gems? Prismatic, prismatic. Cogwheel. There we go, tinker. Uh, savior. We're not going to be healing, so that's, that's not really useful. Reducing magic damage taken by 90% could be useful. So let's, let's do that for now. That's really, like, all we have access to. The set looks pretty cool. Like, I don't know if we're gonna look like this the whole time unless we transmog it, but it's a pretty cool looking set. It's probably a recolor of something that already existed, but it looks pretty cool anyway. Time is money, friend. Be good. We have an unspent talent. Uh, let's grab, let's grab Enrage Regeneration. I guess that it can't hurt to have it. I kind of hope when this goes live, they spawn like way, way more enemies. Everything feels like it's designed to have you like pull a lot of stuff, but there's not really like a lot of mob density. Which is weird. Like, yeah, we have to be killing birds here. There just aren't that many of them. I would say like double or triple the spawn rate and double or triple the, the amount of like different spawn points. And that would probably feel a lot better, especially while things are very active. Death's Advance. For 10 seconds, your movement speed is increased by 35%. You cannot be slowed below 100% of normal speed, and you are immune. This is like the Death Knight ability, right? 
Death's Advance. Would that be better than Disengage? I don't really need Disengage because I'm, I'm a melee class. So maybe Death's Advance would be better. Uh, first I need to pop this one out. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's not... I wish people would stop saying that it's runes from Sod all over again. It, it's... The only similarity between between Sod and what we're doing now is that you, you get a thing and you socket it to a piece of gear. But in Sod, you had to have specific ones to complete your spec identity. You had a spec identity, you had specific runes that you absolutely had to have no matter what, they were formative to your class, along the lines of letting warlocks tank, letting rogues tank, these are nothing like that. These are not like things that you need for a certain spec. These are not really like role changing abilities. I'm not going to suddenly start healing uh, in Mr. Pandaria Remix on a warrior. You know what I mean? I, I get that it's, it's like you want to draw comparisons. Like we are clicking a thing and clicking another thing. Yes, we are clicking something. In the sense that we are clicking something, it's similar to runes. Nothing about it is functionally similar to runes. It's, it's like adjacent at best and it's 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 an unfavorable comparison like this seems like it's actually going to allow you to have fun builds in sod you have to build your character a very specific way in order to even be remotely functional you also have to spend hours and hours running around the world completing quests and following guides on wowhead in order to get your runes, whereas this seems like it's going to happen much more organically. This is more like what the Season of Discovery should have done. So I guess in that way it's similar. If this had happened first, then maybe, maybe, maybe they could have learned from this, and they could have done Sod a little bit differently. Yeah, it's not taking you two to four hours, right, exactly. It's, it's actually fundamentally different. I see how it's like appealing to try, try to compare it but it's, it's not really a comparison that's, like, super valid. That's the first time we've got a random piece of gear off of a off a mob, I think. We're gonna have to trash that though, we don't need it. Uh this is a shield. Again, we don't we don't need that. Uh, apparently I can't carry any more of those items. What is this item exactly? Summons a rideable rampaging yak. 
This is a very, very fast mount. Oh. Okay. It's got three charges. I mean, we have we have to see it. Okay, it's not only a very very fast mount, it's a it's a very very large mount. I don't I don't really know what the purpose of this is, uh but that's cool anyway. It's he's cute. He's fluffy. And uh, and besides that, I don't really know like I don't I guess I don't need that because I can fly wherever I want, but that's cool anyway. Aha, uh -huh, another way that we're different from Sod <laughs> is that we have a looking for group. Yeah, we can actually do five-man content without somebody asking us what our gear score is. Or, like, if we have any logs to show for it. So that's a little bit different, too. Uh, we're obviously going to take the quest. I'm not sure, like, if we need to, but... Yeah, I'd say if it gives a, a cash, yeah, we need to. Okay, uh, this is the remade Skullamance. I... yeah, that's great. Uh, we got a breastplate with a different look to it, but uh, the stats are essentially the exact same. some real stones to challenge the mistress of emotion. Well, show me what you've got. Come, 
try your luck. <laughs> Uh, so these are all like the same the same gear level, but they're like a different look. So if we get all of them, I, I'd love to have a different look, but uh, unless we can match the set, I don't see the point. Friends of yours, Voss. You there. Make yourselves useful and deal with these summoners. Their deaths only serve to empower my summoners further. Behold! to their brethren, you are sick. <laughs> What's the matter, boss? Getting tired? I'll never stop hunting your kind, Necromancer. Never! Isn't it beautiful? The weaving of flesh and bone and soul. And you'll see if you revel so much in death once I've ripped out your throat. Have you looked in a mirror recently? My dear, you should embrace this gift that has been bestowed upon you. I will not let you curse another soul with this nightmare. Run, Necromancer. Your life ends once I catch my breath. Come, Voss. Your fate awaits you. Are we going to get a whole dungeon set out of this? Is that kind of how it's going to work? We got chest, arms, and shoulders. So we need legs and boots, basically. Girl, I am the Dark Master. I command the undead. I won't let you. Oh. Now turn your lovely rune blades on our guests and fetch me their bones. I 
can't fight him. I can feel her will breaking. <laughs> her soul burns so brightly. Now, Lillian, it is time for your transformation. End it! Now! Before he can... What? Die, necromancer! The bones! Uh, um, no loot? <laughs> um, no loot? No loot. Uh, I will report that the tank, the tank went in, and then the tank died, and then we went in, and then we died. And then the healer died, and then everybody's dead. Uh, okay, 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 good, good, good. Uh, it put us in the dungeon, which is great. It's great. Uh, now we have to figure out where we're going. It was in the little closet in the room. Okay, I didn't, I didn't see it. We'll have another chance to have a look, I think. Because, yeah, I, I saw nothing. I looked around for, like, a chest or something to loot. Oh, over here. Thank you. I appreciate it. I never would have saw that. There we go. There, there, there are the legs. So now I think we just need, uh, we need boots? Or boots or gloves? And that'll complete the entire look. Any good afternoon. A new fit, as your teenager would say? That's fine, my, my eight-year-old would say that our new look is dripping. And I don't know, dripping, it sounds like it's sick, like it's got a nasal problem. But apparently dripping means it's like really awesome. If you haven't come to study, According I to my eight-year-old. To teach a lesson. I have drums I could pop here. That might be a good idea. in session. Yeah, Mr. Pandaria was when they, they redid Skolomance. This is the Skolomance, like, redo. This isn't, like, the original Skolomance. Uh, they redid Skullamance. Did they also redo Shadowfang Keep, or was that Cataclysm that redid Shadowfang Keep? I don't remember. Uh, they they redid a couple of them throughout different expansions.
Oh, they read it SFK and Cataclysm. Yeah, okay. Right on. We got a we got a ton of experience. Just a ton of XP. Uh, and we got uh, we got something. We got a two-handed mace. Yeah, we, we need that for our other for our offhand. So there we go. Now we are properly equipped. Uh like yeah, there's a temptation to do more of these. You know, like the temptation exists. Uh, and also, though, we if we want to have a different look now, we could unsocket our gems. Oh, look at that. You don't have to open the gear up. You just click the gear, and it unsockets. Oh, that's really cool. It's almost all of a new look. I don't think we got boots. I don't think we found boots. I'd like to get re-socketed. I don't think this group is really going to wait for me to do that, but I'm going to I'm going to take my time here anyway and just re-socket everything. This is my cog wheel. So for my cog wheel, I had Death's advance. Uh, let's see. Shoulders. I don't know what I I need a I need a cog wheel for the shoulders. Or is this a trinket gem? It's a trinket gem. Leap of Faith is a cogwheel. These are tr Yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to do this stuff on the fly. That's the problem. Okay, let's... Let's get going. of your travels. You dare to disturb these waters? You will rise! My, t my team is going, yeah, I know, I'm aware. I'm trying I'm trying to get my gems working so I can be useful. Oh, there we go. I must have resocketed it somewhere. I, I don't I don't know how I did that, but okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We're, we're locked out of the boss. Do it outside the dungeon? I'll do it where I want. You do it outside the dungeon. I'll, I'll let my group judge me, thanks. Life. 
It'd be cool if we can join them, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realize they were gonna get all the way to a boss. But sure. Obviously a bad time to be re-gemming your gear, but what are you supposed to do? You have a new look, you want to equip it, you gotta re-gem your gear. It was out of my control. It's gonna be funny when I die out here. I wonder if I should line of sight him or if that's even gonna matter. Something tells me I'm simply going to keep taking damage. It only delays the inevitable. Your cause. That's that's kind of what I figured would happen. Yeah, it's what we deserve. The water's fine. <laughs> now that I'm dead, I can do my talents. Let death. Wash over. But I can't apply the changes because of the whole being dead thing. The darkness clears. I peer into these waters and my reflection is empty waters playing me. And those are the boots for the set, but we, we will do this after the dungeon run. We'll do it after. No, I was, I was messing around. They, they didn't choose to go without me. They, they just chose to go. <laughs> I, I don't blame them. It was not the time to uh, just like be messing with my gear. I, I just figured we had a little bit more trash to kill before the first boss. My library has become possessed by the Shah. I didn't say anything to them either, to be fair. I wasn't like, hey guys, wait up a second, I gotta re-socket some things. I could've, I could've probably said that. Maybe they would've waited, maybe they wouldn't've waited, but... Since I didn't say anything, it's completely on me. Strangers, cleanse this place of their foul presence. Lay our stories to rest. This is using everything from Dragonflight, so this is not this is not like a Mista Pandaria classic type of situation. This is a time this is a time running type of situation. So we have some different systems going on, we have some different gearing systems, some different upgrade systems, but as far as like class design it's Dragonflight stuff.
I, I'm burning. I have, uh, I, I probably targeted the wrong guy for a while. I should have switched targets, I think. I have a stacking... A stacking thing. It's, it's inflicting shadow damage on me until, until I die. I'm, I'm gonna hang out for a res this time. Maybe they'll res me, maybe they won't. We'll find out. Yeah, it looks like he's in a res. Given peace to this sacred temple. Now, off with you. I require meditation before I begin the restoration ritual. I kind of wish the potions persisted through death. Yeah, I, I just pop these, and the weird thing is, like, they're on cooldown, so I, I can't pop some more. I have to wait now. That's kind of bothersome. I do have scrolls here. Intellect, I don't need. I could do that. Patrick, good afternoon, man. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. I, I did notice this. Time Runner's grip. Titan's grip has been altered in this timeline. So maybe they have changed like a couple of things about the class design. Because apparently this is some kind of change from what it is in Dragonflight. This is affecting our, our Titan's grip. Strength reduced, stamina increased, haste increased. So they reduced the strength, but they upped the stamina and the haste. That's interesting. I wonder how many classes have modifiers like that. Huh. Am I having fun with Pandalet? Yeah, yeah, I am. It, it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a really fun way to level up alts. And we have a dead healer. Your forces are weak. Uh, I don't think we have to pull her yet. We we didn't have to pull her. She she probably would have hung out there. Um, yeah, our healer is is somewhere. Okay, apparently we're taking her this way. Are we, are we trying to leash her? I'm not sure what they're doing. They have successfully confused the hell out of me. I, I'm not sure what they're doing. I wish they would, like, find a better way to mark, like, what gem is which. I want an easier way to know if it's a cogwheel gem, or a, a tinker gem, or a, a meta gem, or a whatever gem. Like, I just need, I need it to, like, be a little bit more clear. I, I don't know why, but I, I can't, like, at a glance it's hard to figure out. I guess I could read, but, you know, who wants to read? I just, I just want to look at something about it, visually something about it, and that would make me a little bit happier. 
Leave this the tank is dead this time? That's cool. That's that's a change of pace. Yeah, a dead tank. I could, I could taunt and see how far that gets us. It, it it didn't get us it didn't get us very far it didn't get us as far as it needed to defensive stance what's that i don't have a defensive stance right now i got i got uh fury stance that's it that's probably just that i'm stupid and i can't i can't read <laughs> uh some kind of sorting i guess i could tell it i wish i could tell it to sort like sort if i had some good sorting going on that would probably help out I can never find them again. Once I unsocket them, they, they disappear into my inventory, never to be seen again. They're just, they're just gone. They go somewhere. They, they don't really disappear. Like, they, they really go somewhere in my inventory, but I just, I can't find them. Apparently we had, we had some kind of, like, a cogwheel gem. We had a cogwheel gem, and like, yeah, it's, it's somewhere. It's in here somewhere. Uh, will I ever find it? Probably not. Prismatic, prismatic, prismatic. This is all gear. This is prismatic. Here it is. Yeah, it's... The problem is that it's not a gem. It's just like an icon. Whereas, like, these are gems. So, like, okay, cool. This is not, this is not, like, very gem-looking. We're going to get left behind again for yet another boss. If I could sort them, if, if I could tell this to put like certain gems in this bag, certain gems in another bag, that would be cool if I can just have it like sorted, but I, I don't seem to have that option. Yeah, I, I would need more sorting options. Grant me strength! The cycle must continue. The Jade Serpent must be reborn! been lifted from my eyes. Forgive me for doubting you. I, I almost kind of wish it would let you tackle these dungeons like solo. Like maybe even like Torghast style. You guys remember Torghast? I don't, nobody really liked Torghast. The idea of Torghast was good. The execution was not. But yeah, I, I almost wish they would let you just like literally run, literally run through here and just kind of like solo it would be a lot of fun. And that way, if I wanted to stop and do my gems and stuff, I would be free to do that. Are we, are we clear here? I see a quest outside, but yeah, I feel like we have a last boss here to deal with. And maybe I'll actually turn these quests in like I didn't do with the, uh, with the Skull of Man's quest. Thank you. 
Hello. Speak up. Until next time. Is the currency account wide? Um, the currency, like the bronze? Uh, the bronze we're getting is specific to your character. If that's the uh, if that's the currency we're talking about. But I mean, like, a lot of the things you'll unlock with it, like the transmogs and stuff that you'll unlock with it are going to be account-wide. And it seems like you, it's, you can use it for, like, gear upgrades, too, in this mode of the game, but you can also use it for, like, toys, bounce, and transmog. Okay, uh, before I do anything else... We got a, a, a belt, and we didn't have a belt before. And I think that's it. Uh, now the belt is a tinker slot. Cog wheel, tinker, cog wheel. I don't know if I have any more Tinker Gems. Oh, here we go. Your movement speed is increased by 5% and you have immunity to fall damage. Your abilities have a chance to increase your party's haste for 10 seconds. That seems really good. And then I don't, I then, yeah, then I don't have a Tinker slot here. Yeah, I feel like that was the only other Tinker Gem that I had.
<laughs> you hope they make leveling like this in War Within? No. <laughs> War Within will have its own campaign and its own gear and all that good stuff. Uh, this is a way to get characters ready to go into War Within, because you'll be able to take this character at level 70 and go into, uh, go into War Within. But I, I don't think you can expect them to do this to, like, all of leveling. That would be a little bit different, a little bit special. Alright, let's finish up this quest. See, sometimes we get stuff that simply applies to us. Like, this just applied right to us. Your next attack that reduces you below 35% HP triggers Purged Hatred. So sometimes you pick up scrolls, but then sometimes effects just get applied right to you. Hmm. Which PTR for this? The 10.2.7. Yeah, if you're looking for the PTR that has this, it's the 10.2.7 PTR. Alright, we should probably do a little bit of gear cleanup here. I have a lot of, uh, a lot of old gear. Oh, here's a Tinker Gem. Ankh of Reincarnation. Suffering lethal damage will return you to life. Oh, that would have been really useful. To have on during that dungeon. Let's go ahead and, uh, and put that here. Okay, yep, now we're good. And then we can, we can, ooh. See, look at this. I, I still have a socket here. I have to, uh... I have to unsocket that thing. There we go. I, I still have one here as well. So yeah, make sure to check for gems before you scrap any of your stuff. And I have to equip these bracers. Which also have a tinker slot in them. How do you access the PTR? You should be able to just go into your battle net, go to the drop down, and if you scroll to the top of the drop down for the game version, you will see uh, PTRs listed above the live client in the drop down. Apparently we're level 20. We got the Reigns of the August Phoenix. Okay. We got a grounding... A grounding gem. We got Incendiary Terror. Your abilities have a chance to inflict additional fire damage. Yeah, that just, and horrify enemies. That seems good. Let's, let's pop this one in here. Okay. Oh, this is another Tinker Gem. That's the shield. I, I'm, I'm full right now, though. I think I have what I want. Tinker Gem.
Where did that mount go? It said that I, I unlocked a mount. Aha! Is this not like a dynamic flag mount? This is not a dynamic flight mount. Which is kind of a shame. It looks pretty freaking cool. Maybe we'll just zip around on this for a while. We'll fly old school. I don't even have a transmog mount. I don't, and I don't, I don't think they gave me much of anything. But if it's looking at if it's looking at mounts that I own, then I, I don't own the transmog mount yet. I don't have any money for that kind of thing. Uh, Rampage has a 20% chance to immediately refund 20% of the rage spent. That sounds pretty good. Let's go there for now. Uh, we're going after a couple of things. So we have to use the item. Let's come down here. This one is the one that we were just on is the August Phoenix. Have I played any LE? Um, by LE, do you mean Last Epoch? I played a little bit of Last Epoch, yeah. If that's what we're talking about. What I kind of decided about Last Epoch and, and like probably about like all ARPGs is that I don't really I don't really have fun in combat when the combat is just setting like waves after wave after wave of like enemies at me and you're just kind of mowing down waves. Like I like the isometric combat. I would love to see something that's like isometric combat, but like a little bit more like I don't know something that feels a little bit better. It just isn't fun to me to mow down wave after wave of enemies. It's it's like kind of mindless. It's mindless and also it's like kind of like almost immersion breaking. Like I didn't I didn't care for the combat. And I, I think that's just true of like me with all ARPGs. I don't think I like the the combat model of ARPGs which is just like de defeat like waves of hundreds of guys. I would like some kind of like isometric combat like that that just feels like a little bit more like one one on one or one v two like I would like to have like a Dark Souls isometric RPG Dark Souls esque. Uh, what server? It's it was the top server listed. I'm I'm not sure. It was it started with an A. And it was the server at the top of the list. And yeah, I played Lost Ark when it first came out, and same thing with Lost Ark. You know, combat was very, very similar, and it's just not a combat model that I particularly enjoy.
Yeah, the Phoenix, they just they just gave us this. I think it's a recolor or a reskin of a, of a different mount. I'm, I'm sure it's not like the first time this has been in the game. But yeah, they, we just got, we got this for hitting level 20, it seemed like. All right, guys, I am out of time for today. I've had a blast with this. I think this is really awesome. I think this is going to be a great little event in the game when it comes out. I think people are going to have a lot of fun with it. I think this kind of game mode has a pretty like good future. They could obviously do like they could do Warlords of Draenor. They could do Legion. You could even do BFA. You can go back and do uh, Outlands. Like, yeah, it has a lot of potential. It's a lot of fun. I, I might stream for a little bit and play some more of this tomorrow. I'm not sure if that will happen, but uh, but we will see. Yeah, but I'm having a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this coming out into the game. We'll play a hunter when it comes out. It'll be a cool way to level up some more characters in, in Dragonflight. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed hanging out, leaving a like, making sure you're subbed to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really helps me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.